Dylan Farrow, left, and her mother, Mia Farrow, in New York last year. Dennis Van Tinnegeisle of Photo Press, via Associated Press Dylan Farrow, the adopted daughter of Woody Allen who has alleged that he yearly abused her as a child, questioned in an article published this week why Mr. Allen had escaped the consequences of the widespread social backlash that was set off by the fall of the Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein. M.S. Farrow, writing in an opinion piece published in the Los Angeles Times, also alleged that those who worked for Mr. Allen, including people in the industry and actors in Mr. Allen's S, have covered up for him a turned a blind eye. She referred to the Metu movement, which arose after the allegations against Mr. Weinstein were reported in the New York Times and the New Yorker in October and in which women shared stories of UAL assault and accusations ranging from inappropriate text messages to rape. The New Yorker articles were reported by Ms. Farrow's brother Ronan. As names were revealed, high-profile men in Hollywood and other industries resigned, were fired or experienced other fallout. But not, Ms. Farrow noted, Mr. Allen. She wrote to R in the midst of a revolution. From allegations against studio heads and journalists, to hotel maids recounting abuses on the job, women are exposing the truth and men are losing their jobs. But the revolution has been selective. I have long maintained that when I was seven years old, Woody Allen led me into an attic, away from the babysitters who had been instructed never to leave me alone with him. He then newly assaulted me. I told the truth to the authorities then, and I have been telling it, unaltered, for more than 20 years. Why is it that Harvey Weinstein and other accused celebrities have been cast out by Hollywood, while Allen recently secured a multi-million dollar distribution deal with Amazon, greenlit by former Amazon Studios executive Roy Price before he was suspended over UAL misconduct allegations? Allen's latest feature, Wonder Wheel, was released theatrically on deck. 1. Mr. Allen's representatives could not immediately be reached for comment on Friday, but he has previously denied Ms. Farrow's accusations, including in 2014 when she wrote in a detailed open letter in the New York Times that her father had molested her, starting when she was seven. No one wants to discourage abuse victims from speaking out, but one must bear in mind that sometimes there are people who are falsely accused and that is also a terribly destructive thing. Mr. Allen wrote in the Times in response to her accounts then. M.R. Allen made several films for Mr. Weinstein's Miramax, including Bullets Over Broadway, Mighty Aphrodite, and Everyone Says I Love You, in the Los Angeles Times article, published on Thursday. Ms. Farrow, 32, acknowledged Mr. Allen's previous denials. But this is not a, he said, child said, situation. Allen's pattern of inappropriate behavior, putting his thumb in my mouth, climbing into bed with me in his underwear, constant grooming and touching, was witnessed by friends and family members, she wrote. He also mentioned some of the actresses who have worked with him since the allegations went public, such as Kate Winslet, who has a leading role in Mr. Allen's latest film, Greta Gerwig and Blake Lively, as well as the circle of people who represented Mr. Allen. It is a testament to Allen's public relations team and his lawyers that few know these simple facts. It also speaks to the forces that have historically protected men like Allen the money and power deployed to make the simple complicated, to massage the story. In this deliberately created fog, Alice actors agree to appear in Allen's films and journalists tend to avoid the subject. M.S. Farrow later added it isn't just power that allows men accused of UAL abuse to keep their careers and their secrets. It is also our collective choice to see simple situations as complicated and obvious conclusions as a matter of, who can say? The system worked for Harvey Weinstein for decades. It works for Woody Allen still.